Meanwhile, the first four demonstrators arrested at the DNC are in court today, while other groups prepare to have their say. Our Joe Holden is live near FDR Park, where protesters are permitted to gather and demonstrate. Hey, Jim, good afternoon. This must be the slowest start we've seen to demonstrators gathering. FDR Park behind me is virtually empty, save for a few people standing around. There is an expectation of possibly 8,000 people gathered here when all is said and done by the end of today. But this has been the trouble spot, the security perimeter, the fence where Secret Service tell us they are charging four people in connection to last night where people scaled this fence trying to breach the security perimeter. Let's go ahead and show you the video of it. There were four people uh, at this point charged by the U.S. attorney in connection to uh, a federal charge, which would be attempting to breach this area. There were actually five people in total uh, taken into custody by Philadelphia police. Now, that has been the crescendo, the most visible public problem uh, that we have seen this entire time. All of the demonstrations, including Black Lives Matter, uh, the Bernie Sanders folks, they have all been peaceful, according to the Philadelphia Police Department. In fact, one captain told me that people from out of town have been making it a point to go up to officers on the streets and thank them and pose with them for pictures. So many, many different tales to the story. The tale you're seeing inside the convention center, where, of course, there was drama for the beginning. But then when Bernie Sanders threw his support behind Hillary Clinton, that somewhat snuffed that out. But there still continues to be division on the streets. However, it seems to be somewhat relatively minor. Of course, we're out here keeping an eye on all things. Live at FDR Park this noon, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks a lot, Joe.